a popular technique that many websites use uh, involves having an image on the website that is clickable in multiple parts. So instead of clicking an image that takes you to one website or different page, something like that, various parts of that image can take you to different websites. So to do that here in Dreamweaver, simply insert the image you want to use it's by going to insert, choose image, and then within your images folder, find the picture you want to use, choose it, add some alternate text, click OK. So here we have our image of the various oceans of the world. And let's say for this particular use, I want to make each ocean on this image a link to a different website. Or web page. So if my website is all about the oceans of the world, I might have a separate page for each of these oceans. So in a previous vi video, I showed you how to create a link on an image. So if someone clicked on this picture, it would take them to a site. Now, we want this top little left corner to take them to a page, but we want this little area to take them to an entirely different page. So the way to set these areas up on an image is to go down here to the very bottom left hand corner of our Dreamweaver window. We have clicked on the image and then down here at the bottom left under map we have three icons. We have a rectangle, a circle, or a polygon. Now, depending on what your image looks like and the different parts of it that you're trying to select, uh, choose the one of these that best fits your needs. I'll just go ahead and choose the simple rectangle. And I will draw a rectangle around this portion of the, the image, the Arctic Ocean portion. I will let go of my mouse. And it's asking me to describe what this portion of the image is. So I will click OK here and I'm going to do a number of different things down here in the properties. I'm going to say where I want this portion of the image to link to. So I would type in either an outside website by typing in the whole URL http colon slash slash the entire website or if I am creating another page for this, it might simply be arcticocean.html, and then it would take the user to that page. Alternate text would be maybe Arctic Ocean, something like that. And if I click away from here, uh, that one is set, and now I can do the same thing for the Pacific Ocean draw my field around the area I want them to be able to click, type in my link, in this case it might be pacificocean.html or again an outside website also would work. Add my alternate text and do the same thing for the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. And next for the Indian Ocean, I will actually navigate this one to an outside website so we can see how it works in a browser. So I will send us to nationalgeographic.com, add my alternate text, and I can do the same thing again for these other areas, the Southern Ocean. I can grab more of the Pacific Ocean, more of the Atlantic Ocean if I wanted. But uh, this just demonstrates how to single out certain areas of your uh, image to link to various places. So now if I file save, and then I'm going to open this in a browser. So open a browser and then go to File, Open File 
open this particular page that has my image and now you'll notice when I cursor over the different parts of my image I get a little hand icon that's going to take me to wherever that portion of the image is linked and for the Indian Ocean here I linked it to an actual website so if I click it it takes me directly to that website so I can now single out portions of images to link and uh, which makes gives you the opportunity to create more dynamic websites that have uh, visual representations of what you want to convey.